After a few days of exploring some of the most famous sites of Singapore and eating some of the most diverse dishes we've ever come across, today we've got our sights on something a little bit sweeter. We are in Chinatown here in Singapore. And as many of you guys will know, we absolutely love desserts. We've definitely not kept that a secret. Sometimes we even have cake for breakfast in our videos and we've done so many videos dedicated to desserts. So we thought the perfect schedule for today is just go around here in Chinatown and eat loads of them. <laughs> Right here in sort of the center of Chinatown is a temple called Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. We actually went to a restaurant that's just underneath when we came here on our food tour with Arthur and we had loads of delicious vegetarian foods. So we won't be having that again today, but it was definitely one worth trying. Chinatown in Singapore is known for its colorful heritage buildings, rich history and flavorful food. Historically, these streets were used to sell opium and were cluttered with places to gamble. Today is a different story with streets filled with beautiful cafes, quaint dessert shops, trinkets and a whole lot of durian. We're now at our first stop of the day, which is Yin Yu Mantang. It seems like a really popular, fully desserts and some mains, but primarily desserts sort of restaurant. There's loads of people in here. You can probably hear it is quite loud. Okay, I've ordered three things. I've ordered mango with mini rice balls and sago, deep fried milk, which sounds very interesting, and Hong Kong style iced red beer drink with ice cream inside. Okay, so this is the Hong Kong style. Oh my god, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot at the bottom and cold at the top. Hong Kong style red bean drink with ice cream, which looks really interesting. I'm gonna try some with this first, just with the ice cream. The ice cream on top, it's very nice. The middle just tastes like shaved ice. Maybe I haven't mixed it enough. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Not like super sweet, but just, just right. Oh, it's super beany. Mm. It's not even like sweetened that much, so it's quite bean tasting. You're right, it's a very mild taste. I like this one. Yeah, I've been lucky to my friends. Mm, yeah. It tastes milky, but it's not like runny like milk. That's more like a custard, like a gelatinous custard. This would yeah. be much easier to sell than, than really good. We've got sort of the main meal of the desserts for this time around. It looks incredible. It was mini rice balls with mango and sago. It looks like a smoothie bowl. It looks, I love a good smoothie bowl. Oh, it smells so fresh like mango. Mm. Oh, these pop in your mouth. These are filled with something. Oh. oh, I just got all the really flavored poppy ones. Mm. Nice. The next place that we're going to is literally just a few doors down. <laughs> Let's go. Singapore may be known for being an expensive country, but there are many things that you can get here in Singapore for under one British pound. Like this delicious coffee for only 78 British pence, or maybe this freshly made samosa for only 41 pence. Not to mention these delicious Indian sweets that only cost us 93 British pence. And now you can add something else to that list. You can send international transfers straight from your phone quickly and easily with Paysend for a fixed fee of only one British pound. Paysend is a platform that lets you transfer money online to over 170 countries around the world. You can send money the way that suits you, either by using a bank card or account, or simply by using a phone number. If you sign up today and use the code PASSPORTFREE, you will get your first three transfers for free. Just click the link in the description box below and use the code PASSPORTFREE. What do we want? Definitely an egg tart. Yeah. Hello. Uh, can I please have 
An egg tart. One egg tart. One egg tart. Okay. And uh, one lotus pastry. One lotus pastry. And then, what's your like best seller? What's the? Uh, you can try the barbecue pork ribs and white pastry and walnut cookie. Uh, I don't eat pork, so maybe not the pork one. White pastry, what's that? Yeah. This one, white pastry. Oh, okay, wife pastry. Okay, let's try the wife pastry. Okay, thank you. So that place where we just got three pastries from is called Tong Heng, and they're known for their egg tarts. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I, I want to sit down so we can eat it. As we were crossing the road, I did just spot this place that literally just said old coffee. Should we get some coffee? Yeah, yeah. let's get one. This one, more condensed milk. More sweet. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's oh, the that's ticket. Great. Realistically, it wouldn't really be a proper dessert video by us if it didn't also have coffee. <laughs> when we saw this place, we were like, we kind of have to. It's called Nanyang Old Coffee, and it's basically a classic Singaporean cafe or coffee place. They have loads of different types of coffee. Now, if this is a winner, at least we know what it's called. <laughs> You're going to love this. It is very sweet. So if you don't have a sweet tooth, don't go for this one. These two coffees together were four dollars twenty. It does take you a while every time you go to a new country to find the right coffee that you like. So here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now. Let's move on to these bad boys. All of these were a total of seven Singaporean dollars. I'm gonna go for the egg tart first, just because it's what I know. But it just looks very different, obviously the shape to begin with. And then look at the underneath. This is gonna be crispy. It's falling apart in my hands already. It's a little bit more eggy than ones we've tried in the past. And very hard, but, but it's like falling apart, you know? Then we have this beautiful pink number, which is a lotus seed pastry. I mean, it's beautiful and pink. I have no idea what it's going to look like inside. Mm. <laughs> the outer layer of that is so like dry and flaky, like a moon cake. But inside, it's really delicious and sweet. It's like a thick paste. It's very nice. It's not something you eat on a first date, that's for sure. It's very messy. <laughs> and the last one we have to try is called a wife pastry. And I think there's melon inside. Let's take a bite. This thing is just like a wobbly jelly. You see that? Is that the flavor? Yeah, but it's not like super sweet or anything. It's kind of mellow. That's all I can say about it. If you know why it's called a wife pastry, then please let us know. <laughs> It's just opened. Those drops are so big as well. It started pouring, but I think it might just be a shower because it looks gray right above us. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> oh. We've run for shelter and we're now in the opening, I think of a shopping mall or some sort of complex. It is pouring with rain, like insane rain. But as we were seeking shelter, I think Dylan's just spotted exactly what we're looking for and he's just down there. Should we go look? Yeah. Hello. 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 Finish. Oh. Okay, thank you. That was exactly what we wanted, but the guy said he'd run out. So we're looking basically for ice cream, as simple as it sounds, inside bread. That doesn't sound amazing, but apparently it's well known here in Singapore. And we've been recommended it quite a lot of times by you guys in the comments. So we wanted to try and find it. Maybe yeah. we'll find it here somewhere. I feel like there's a few food places around here, so even if we don't find that, we'll find something else. Yeah. Mm. Purple sweet potato. We have to get one of those. We have to get one. I yeah. love sweet potato. So, one for three dollars. Yeah. yeah. Hello, can we have uh, one? Okay. Thank you. It's a little rabbit. Yeah. Probably for the Lunar New Year, right? It's supposed to be filled with purple sweet potato. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet. 
That's delicious. Look how cute it is. <laughs> and this was three dollars. Hmm. We jumped on the MRT to think, okay, we actually Googled it. We found another uncle that's supposed to be doing this ice cream sandwich near the Simlim Tower. However, once we hopped on the MRT, took the MRT, came back out, here it's now pouring, where it's a little bit closer to Little India than we were before, so we're no longer in Chinatown. But he's not here. <laughs> Maybe because it's pouring with rain? I don't know, but I think we're gonna have to admit defeat on this one. We're currently sat in our hotel, which is the Hilton Serangoon, which is in Little India. Breakfast is included, even though we've not been having it every single day. Today, we're gonna to show you a little bit more of this hotel, where we've been staying for the past few days whilst in Singapore, as well as trying out some lovely little cafes and seeing more of the city center of Singapore. But first, we should probably eat this breakfast, and then we'll show you our room. This hotel is so nice. It is sort of in the heart of Little India, which means it smells amazing, it's very vibrant. You can pop downstairs and have food pretty much anywhere. Delicious, amazing, love this area. Straight through here is the bathroom. Standard bathroom with what you'd expect, but the real selling point for me is the fluffiest fluff bed. Just look at this. Oh. Look how nice that is. We've been sleeping so well here. Partially, probably, because we've been doing a lot of walking. Singapore is extremely walkable, so we've been sleeping like babies after walking like 20,000 steps during the day. There's a big flat screen TV that we haven't used once because we've been out so much, but it's there if you want it. A lovely desk where Dylan can do a little bit of work. This place was a little bit more than we tend to spend in a hotel, but I think- More than a little bit. A lot more, but I think it's kind of normal prices that you can expect for Singapore. So we paid around 166 pounds, British pounds per night for this stay. You can stay in sort of pod hotels and hostels, but because we have all of our stuff with us and we're doing all the filming, it just makes it so much easier for us to have a private room. Anyway, we saw a super cool cafe that's supposed to be about 10 minute walk from here. So let's go check that out. Oh. <laughs> that looks so good. Look at these things. We've got a hot Biscoff coffee. We've got a cold Biscoff coffee. And then we've got a Biscoff cheesecake. No, this is not a Biscoff themed cafe. <laughs> we just really like it. <laughs> this place is called Cafe Monochrome. And as you can see, Everything is pretty much 2D. There's a few rooms in here that you can sit down. I can imagine watching this, everything doesn't really look real. Uh, and look, <laughs> look at this. It's got so much like Biscoff sauce there. Oh. Need to mix that. See now, mix that completely. Oh, oh. I'm just getting Biscoff bits in my mouth. Mm. Oh my God. If you love sweet drinks, <laughs> you will love this. Oh, is that Biscoff at the bottom? I just hit something like a little bit more thick. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. I love Biscoff. This mall is really cool. It's got a climbing wall in the middle that goes up about three floors. You can ride your bike through this place. We have to slow down, you can only go 10 kilometers an hour. It's very futuristic. There's too many nice food places in this mall. It's so tempting, but we have one place in mind that we want to go later on that we've been walking past 
pretty much every day and we haven't yeah. been there yet. It always smells and looks really yummy. And but busy. I am, yeah, and very busy. When we were walking past it earlier, we were like, okay, we're going to have to wait a little bit with this one. But I'm getting quite the appetite now. Yeah. I'm hungry, yeah. <laughs> So this place is on the grounds for the university, I think. Uh, so it's very affordable. And it is basically just Nasi Lemak, which we love. $14 for two Nasi Lemaks with two drinks. Thank you. Ready for this? Oh, wow. So this place is called Nasi Lemak Ayam Taliwang. And Nasi Lemak is a very famous dish in Malaysia and also in Singapore. I think it's the national dish of Malaysia, but not of Singapore. Singapore's is the Hainanese chicken rice that we had the other day in the food tour. This place is actually a Michelin guide in 2021, 2022, so it should be good. I don't think my mouth is big enough for a little bite of everything. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna fit. <coughs> mm. Good. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a little bit sweet, soft, crunchy. The egg is like nice and creamy and fatty on top. The sambal is not too spicy. It is really good. Mm. I've got high hopes for this. Oh wow. <laughs> that is spicy, <laughs> but that is delicious. That's up there with one of the best Nestle Max I've ever had. It is sweet. Mine is spicy. It is spicy, but I do like it. What I love about Little India is the smells are incredible. No matter where you're walking, you can smell the spices of the Indian food. I was just in the kitchen now and I could see him making the garlic naan and putting it in the like a clay pot and sticking it to the side. Uh, that's going to be tasty. If it's not food that you're smelling, it's the various incense that they're burning pretty much everywhere. It smells so good. Everything's so colorful as well. It's just awesome. <laughs> the first thing we've got is this. Oh, so this chickpea masala. I think there's also some lentils in there. It smells absolutely like mind blowing. Just look at that. Oh. And then we got a butter paneer masala as well. I don't think I've ever had paneer before, but I think it's a type of cheese. On the menu, it was referred to as cottage cheese. And to top it all off, we got the most gorgeous garlic naan. You can just imagine how amazing this smells. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the perfect dish. <laughs> this, a little bit of that, a little bit of rice. Mm. 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 That is really good. That is really good. That is delicious. I don't know what else to say about it. Mm. That is actually probably the best naan I've ever had. <laughs> I've not had that many, but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> this type of Indian food is not like the Indian food you get in the UK. Like, I'm gonna go in with my hands, garlic naan, a bit of everything, I think. Oh wow. This tastes so good. Oh my god. That's serious. That is seriously good. I know, I thought it was an exaggeration. Wow. That is really like potentially one of the best flavoured things I've ever eaten as well. Oh my god. Ten out of ten. Right? Ten out of ten. 
This food is so good. We literally bought another garlic naan. <laughs> no, there's something there's something about it when it comes straight out of the oven or out of that cauldron. It just smells so buttery and garlicky. Ah, oh my god. Seriously, we'll put the name of this uh, place on the screen. You have to come here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to rush it, it's so good. So good. What do you like, say? Top 10? Probably, it's going to sound like I'm exaggerating. I would probably say this is one of my top 10 food experiences that I've ever had. And I've been to, <laughs> I've been to a lot of fine dining restaurants and I think sometimes Things are just really good, but they're not necessarily memorable. They're just tasty. The, this, I think, I don't think I'm gonna forget this place for a really long time. A really long time. <laughs> I was really hungry as well, to be fair. But I'm good. Best thing that we ever had. Thank you. It was so good. Thank you. All of that for thirty dollars. So thirty Singaporean dollars. Wow. Incredible actually incredible. They also sell sweets and I would normally be tempted but I think I squeezed in as much of that main meal as I possibly could. There is genuinely no space left. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Tomorrow we're leaving but not quite leaving Singapore. You'll get what I mean when you watch the next video. <laughs> <laughs> but we're basically changing up where we are to a bit of a different location so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.